Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use the online sequencer. This is a way of composing music at home. And if you don't have a digital workstation like GarageBand or something, then you can use this free software which I found online. It's called onlinesequencer.net. Here it is. Um, when it loads up, it looks like this. It has a keyboard down on the left-hand side all the way here. Um, and it's got all of these grids. Now, you don't necessarily need to be able to read music to be able to use this, but a good understanding of uh, beats and subdivisions is kind of necessary to understand how it works. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, change this here to half, just to explain what all of this means. Um, now you've got these numbers at the top, one, two, three, four. These are the full measures. And when we start learning about time signatures, we start learning about four, four, okay? Four beats in a bar, four beats per measure. And that's what this defaults to, and I don't think you can change it, but that's fine. Where it has one to two, that is one full measure. And from two to three, that's a full measure as well. And each measure has four beats in it. If I just mark out using this instrument here where the actual so strong beats are, they'd be here, one, two, three, four. Okay, if I played that, you can see that it's just looping, okay? They're the strong beats. When we want to subdivide even further, which is what this grid here is all about, it says half there. And what note do you know that is worth half a beat? The quaver. And so these grids that you can see here are essentially just quavers. So if I keep this as my pulse, my four beats in a bar, one, two, three, four, and then I add in, okay, that's gonna mark out our quavers. So it should be twice as fast. Okay, and you can change that grid to whatever size you want. It automatically defaults at a quarter, and what note do you know that's worth quarter of a beat? Semiquaver. Okay, and I've changed it now to a quarter, so if I want to, all I can do is put in some uh, semiquaver beats. Okay, one, two, three, four. I can actually copy and paste this if I want to. So I'm just gonna select it, Control C for copied, Control V for paste, and then I can just move it here. Okay, so we should be able to hear our crotchets, four beats in a bar, our quavers, eight beats, and our semiquavers, 16 in total. Let's hear it. That's actually sounding quite cool. Right, okay, now before we get started on learning how to use this, I recommend registering with the online sequencer because it means you can easily save your work. Um, so if I just go to register to show you what it is, um, it's a free thing, so they just talk about a variety of different rules. Uh, so have a little read through these. If you agree, agree. If you don't agree, don't sign up. Um, username, student, or student name. Uh, choose a password, confirm your password. Uh, just put your Holland Park School email addresses in here. Um, and then if you want to say that somebody referred you, I did. So let's learn how to use this thing. You can choose loads of different instruments up here. You can set your tempo, your BPM up here. I'm gonna slow this down. I'm gonna maybe say about 90. Um, I'm just gonna label it a new name. I'm just gonna call it uh, Rhythm Test. Okay, because what I'd like you to try and do when you're composing is just to compose those different things. So you can choose your instrument, piano, percussion, um, guitar, electronic, orchestra. Okay, loads of cool stuff that you can do on this for free, no less. All right, so if I just choose in a drum kit, okay, we've got loads of different symbols. If you click on these different things, it has the sounds that come up. Let me just scroll down a bit. All right, so say I just want to make a rock beat, okay? A rock beat, for example, um, something like this. The closed hi-hat, that's the symbols that are together, closed, two symbols on top of each other. They tend to be played in quavers. So I'm going to change my grid to start with, actually. I'm going to change it to quavers just to make it easier to see. Oh, I need to go onto the draw button here. So you've got draw, select, and erase. If I'm on the draw button, I can click left mouse click to uh, insert something. So uh, closed hi hat, left click, inserts. And if I just want to get rid of it because I made a mistake, I can right click and it gets rid. All right, so closed hi hat on every quarter beat. Right, I'm just going to fill up the measure, right, from one to two. Okay, if I play that, it just loops. Okay, one and two and three and four. Okay, so now I want to have a kick drum. Okay, that's what it sounds like. I'm going to have it on beat one and beat three. Okay, you're probably wondering why that's not beat three, possibly. Uh, if you are, remember that's because these grid lines are quavers. 
Now remember there's two quavers to every beat, so we have to count two grid lines to find the next beat. Okay, so kick drum on beat one and beat three, and then snare drum. That's quite, that's a tight snare drum, so I'll, I'll use that one. We're gonna put it on beats two and beats four. Okay, so this is beat one and two, and three and and. Okay, let's hear that. Easy peasy. It's quite similar to the splice beat maker that you used a few weeks ago, uh, but this is a little bit more um, like GarageBand or Logic that you might use in the future. So I want to copy and paste this. I'll go to my select tool up here. I can highlight it all. Control C to copy. Control V. Notes pasted, just need to drag them now. I'm just going to drag them equals my next measure. Okay, I'm going to do that a few times. One, two, three, and one more time. Four. Nice one. Right, so we've got a drum beat, plays for four measures, and repeats itself, okay? Um, these little buttons up here, if you want to select all of the drum kit bits, you just select that and it selects them all. Um, you can copy, cut, paste, okay? I use Control C, Control V, zoom in, zoom out. Now, if you're logged in and you want to save it, very easily, you can just go to the Save Options and you click Save a Copy and that'll just save a copy straight to your account. If you didn't want to make an account, uh, but you want to save what you've done anyway, you can go save local file, okay? So if you go save local file, it'll just automatically download it here, okay? So say we want to add in a few more uh, instruments now. Uh, well, okay, that's fine. We've got our drum kit. Okay, I'm gonna change my instrument now. I'm gonna do bass. Yeah, I'm gonna do bass. The grid has reset back to one quarter, which is semiquavers. So you've got four semiquavers per beat here. I'm going to recreate a song and I'm going to get rid of my snare drums for the time being. B, where's my B? Uh, oh, there's a B there. Mm, my drum kit's in the way, that's okay. I'm just going to make a note there and move it up. Okay. So. Right. All right, so here we go. I've got... Now you've seen that you can add instruments on top of each other onto the sequencer, um, which is really awesome. It's quite simple, but it can probably get confusing if you've got loads and loads of instruments. Um, if I wanted to select just my bass, you can see that I've got it selected as instrument here. And then this one, highlight this one, and it'll just highlight the bass line, which is pretty useful. Um, if I wanted to move or change my drum kit, I can change this back to uh, drum kit. And oops, I just changed the bass to drum kit. Okay, don't do that. You can undo by doing Control Z. All right, click away from that first. Okay, now I'm going to change it to drum kit and then highlight this one, and then it only highlights the drums. Okay, so that's quite useful. All right, click off. Going to go back to drawing. Let's go back to bass. Where am I? All right, here we go. So. get that repeating so I'm going to select my bass I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste and drag it here so that it repeats a few times all right now I'm going to write in my guitar so any rockers out there might be able to work out what track I'm playing um, if not maybe the electric guitar will help here we go loading sounds all right where's B I need a higher B can I scroll up yes I can scrolling up Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to input some stuff here. There must be a quicker way of doing this, but who knows? All right. Ah, yes, there is. Okay, here we go. Copy that and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to copy all of that again and paste it. It helps that I already know what all of the notes in the actual song is. All right. Ooh, that's there, not there. There we go. And copy and paste again. All right, does my bass go that far? It does go that far. All right, cool, let's listen to this. All right, see if you can work out what the track is. Just 
first a tad slow. I'm just going to speed up a bit. 130. Let's try that. Yes. Okay, right. We're almost there. I'm going to copy all of that because it just repeats for quite a long time. And this all gets copied as well. All right. This is the hard bit. the end of the bar. There's the end of the bar, the big thick line. So let's just repeat that a couple of times. So one thing that you could maybe do if you have any sheet music at home that you want to try and recreate, piano music or something, take the piano music, okay, if you've got quavers, semi-quavers, crotchets, you can then select the piano tool and then input it all on yourself. There's a fun line, okay, this is the guitar line, which is obviously the fun line, but there's another fun line. I'm gonna try, uh, ooh, I'm gonna try and do a cello. Cello's fun. Maybe it's here. Can I set the volumes? Let's just try and see something if I can. Ah, I can. Right, where's the electric guitar? Uh, acoustic guitar, jazz guitar, electric guitar. Here we go. Let's just turn that down a little bit. It's a bit loud. There we go. Right. Now for the really fun bit. Okay. I haven't told you what the song is yet, but you're going to work it out in a minute. When it has this new melody on the guitar line up here, that's where the percussion fun begins. So I'm going to change my instrument now to percussion, something, but something, percussion, something really big. Ooh, 2013 drum kit. Well, that sounds like. Oh my god. That's more like it. Oh, that's super, super reverb. -y. And I go the bar from that. Okay, and that's it. Let's just copy paste that. I'll tell you what the title track is now. It's called Thunderstruck. It's by ACDC. Let's have a listen. as far as I've got that. Save a copy and saving, done. All right guys, that's a, a brief, small, little, tiny excerpt of how to use the online sequencer. Thanks guys for watching the videos. Really, really appreciate it. And it's just great to be able to teach you via the internet. Fantastic stuff. I'm up to 72 subscribers. That's mostly my own students. Thanks guys. Uh, if I get to 100 by the end of the summer holidays, I'm going to make a cover for a particular song and I'm gonna leave that song up to you. So leave a comment, recreate some music, make your own music, send me some stuff that you're doing, and just enjoy it. All right, happy summer.